So, if the bridge can do all this wonderful stuff, just how does it do it? Well, let's imagine we have a 24-port repeater in our network, and we replace it with a 24-port bridge. Now, this is very simple to do because most bridges are considered plug-and-play. And you'll recall plug-and-play means you just plug the device in, and it works with no configuration required. No configuration is a good thing because I still haven't figured out how to get that clock on my VCR to stop blinking. <laughs> oh, sigh. While I may not understand my VCR, network devices I can handle. So let's replace that repeater with a bridge. The first step is to move the UTP cabling from the repeater to the new bridge and then plug it in. What happens next? Well, remember, the bridge has an SAT, the source address table. The SAT is empty when the bridge is first turned on, so the bridge does not know where any device is located. Because of this, a bridge operates like a repeater at first. Since the bridge does not know where devices are located, all traffic is flooded everywhere. However, this is temporary. As the bridge learns where the devices are located, it operates more effectively. But if we don't set up or configure the SAT, how does the SAT learn where everything is? Well, there are a couple of ways, but this is the most common. When a packet is received in a port, the bridge examines the packet to see which device sent it. For example, if our bridge receives a packet from device AA on port 1, the SAT records that AA is located on port 1. Eventually, as every device on the network communicates, the bridge builds the SAT table of where everyone is. The location for each MAC address in the SAT table is saved for only five minutes. At least that's the default. If the bridge doesn't hear from the device within that period, it deletes it from the table. If it does hear from the device, it updates the timer. So the information in the SAT table is constantly being updated. If a device moves to a different port the next time it communicates, the SAT table gets updated with the new location. Bridges know where all devices are located on the network, and they forward traffic only to the specific destination station. This makes them far better equipped to control traffic than repeaters, which send traffic everywhere. The SAT allows the bridge to forward traffic intelligently, which is why bridges have replaced repeaters in networks today. However, bridges are much more than simply fancy repeaters. They've grown up and become layer two switches. But switching is another lesson.